depending on where you live. You see coyotes in your neighborhood, but a warning this afternoon, there's been an increase in sightings. Yeah, you got to be careful. Sally Jaramillo says if you have pets, be especially careful between dusk and dawn. Chase is only three months. So we are really nervous as we hear more and more coyotes being around, um, especially as the season is changing. Concern on the rise for pet owners as their furry friends could go missing. You know, as, as Las Vegas or any major metropolitan area grows, we have uh, increased interactions along that what we call wildland urban interface. Doug Nielsen, conservation education supervisor for the Nevada Department of Wildlife, says Southern Nevada is no stranger to creatures like mice, squirrels, rabbits, coyotes, and even mountain lions. Without the moisture that we get from, especially the summer monsoons, but also those winter rains, we don't have the groceries out on the desert floor. And now even letting your pet out in your own backyard unattended is risky. Michael Kinnear, chief medical officer at Sun City Animal Hospital, says they've had many animals come to the hospital because of the severity of some attacks. In the past uh, 14 days, we've had uh, five uh, come in, and so that is a little bit above the norm, unfortunately. They're, they're predatory animals, so they're going to go ahead and, and you know look at your pet not as a playmate but as a, as a food source. And Kinnear doesn't want you to be fearful, but instead extra cautious. Before Chase, I did have a kitten, the cat fighting the coyote, and they were able to separate them. So the thought of that happening to Chase drives me crazy. Sally Jaramillo, live local now.